The search for survivors suspended now, more than 16 hours after a Baltimore bridge collapsed. The six people missing are unfortunately presumed dead. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dan Ashley. And I'm Ama Dates. Eight people were on the bridge when it was struck. Two were rescued from the river. Late today, the Coast Guard said given the conditions, how cold the water is, it was likely the six missing people did not survive. They were construction workers who were on the bridge doing repairs. Just before 1.30 in the morning, the ship's pilots made a mayday call after losing power, alerting officials the vessel could crash. Emergency responders sprang into action and things unfolded very rapidly. Port all traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. So then, until you get that under control, we gotta stop all traffic. C-13 dispatch, the whole bridge just fell down. Start, start is whoever, everybody. The whole bridge just collapsed. Ugh, chilling. And I mean, look at that video. No vessels are being allowed in or out of Port of Baltimore, which is among one of the busiest in the nation. The Francis Scott Key Bridge spans the Patapsco River and is part of one of the major routes in the Northeast Corridor. About 30,000 drivers cross it every day. This is a live look at the scene and you can see the wreckage sitting in the water with part of the bridge on the ship. The NTSB is leading the investigation and hasn't boarded the ship yet to collect evidence. Now let's give you a before and after view of Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge. We're using Google Earth here to show you the before view. The bridge was built in the 1970s. Today it collapsed into the Patapsco River. Uh, take a look, that whole center span simply gone in just a matter of seconds.